<sighs> right. It's the 17th of August 2016. And um, I'm in... I'm at Holford. The weather's going to change. Um, even later today, they predict thunderstorms this evening. Um, this way. Um, tomorrow isn't too bad apparently, but from tomorrow night all weekend it's going to rain. Mind you, they sometimes say that and it doesn't happen. But I'm walking up through Holford Glen now. And uh, I'm hoping my breathing will improve. Weston is so polluted. with yellow smog. You can see it when you're up on the hills. Coming from Wells, there's some big chimney over there. Yeah, it's probably about 11 o'clock now. I'll just check my watch. It's quarter past eleven. I've parked Alberta. I've come on. I've driven Alberta here, and uh, this is the, you can't get a bus service out here. You can, but you've got to be over Bridgewater by nine o'clock, and then you can only. The last bus is about quarter past three, so you're very, very restricted for time. You you, do, you get a bus at nine o'clock in Bridgewater, you don't get over it at all. It goes all around the villages. So you don't really get over it at all. You get about three hours over it, basically. I've come on the train and cycled from Weston before now. In the past, I've brought my bike. But of course you can't cycle up here. Well you can, people do cycle up here, it's true. They've put a lot more gates and things in since I was a kid. Yeah, it's been landscaped more. There's the roundhouse there. You can tell that all that's new. That sort of, um, this wasn't here a few years ago. I'm just putting on the video so that you get an idea what, how it's, how it's changed up here over the years. You'll be able to see that it's changed quite a lot. It's still basically the same, but there have been changes. They haven't got McDonald's out here yet. <laughs> right. I gotta slow up in a minute. So there's the stream then. This is just an introductory video. Um we're not actually properly in the Hold for Glen yet. Oh. I thought I'd do a bit of it. Snippets. Oh. I think the last time I came here was with Georgia and we were going to... Well, I will come out here with her again, but she's only got one day off. She looked tired. Sounded tired, I mean. Um, and the kids wouldn't want to do the hike I'm going to do. So this is like a different sort of walk when I'm doing by my own. I'm still, I'm a bit breathless at the start. But my blood pressure when visiting the doctor yesterday was excellent. But I still get breathless, it's weird. But I know that within about 
within the next two hours, even an hour, when I get into it where there's trees that give pumping out loads and loads of pure oxygen, that my breathing will improve. It's living in a smoggy valley. Um, that's the problem, Western. When you get up on the hills and look down on Western, you just see this yellow smog. It is quite pronounced. No one does anything about it or even speaks about it apart from me and Zara. It makes the sky look quite pretty in the evenings when you've got pink and blue and yellow. But I know what that I'm it's an incinerator over in Wells. Producing it. These big trees are so tempting as a kid. You'd have to be um encouraged to go out there, wouldn't you? Part of the being in the gang. This is my lovely Holford Glen that I talk about over the years. I've brought Daisy and Amber here. When they well a couple of years ago and they did very well. We only did the valley. And there will be a steep climb to get up on, I've got to get up on the top of, on the hills yet. Um, that's going to, and it's going to get hotter. Could get up to 25 degrees today. Not long ago though, I was out in Porter Said when it was 33 degrees. Walking. I didn't really feel, well it was hot, but apparently it was 33 degrees. I have been in the desert though, when it's been 100 in the shade. In the past, didn't seem to bother me actually. I used to sort of wear a hat, but I didn't really get... I never used to get attacked by mosquitoes or anything in those days. Oh, my bag is always so heavy. I've left um, half a bottle of water behind for when I get back and a carton of currant juice. But I'm carrying three oranges and a, a bigger bottle of water. <sighs> of course, I know all these routes around here. <coughs> when we were at junior school, we, we came up here every summer towards the end of the, the summer term. We'd have the day out here playing games, quizzes, um, big picnics, playing in the streets, falling in anthills. That's where my love of it came. And I came out here at least once with my dad, my sister Jude and Margaret. And then with friends, when I was mobile on my bike, we used to cycle out here. It was a place we all loved. And I still do love it. I'm glad I've come in the summer actually because the last time I came was in, there were no leaves and the trees really do look dead. Um, and it looked like a tree graveyard to tell the truth. It looked like a tree graveyard up here. All right, we're not going to be far now before we start entering the Glen properly. Um, Daisy and Amber were very keen to get in the streams a bit further up, I, I think. And I brought them here. Um, but I'm, ve I'm veering off to the right today because I'm going up on the top to get to this particular trick point. <laughs> I haven't been here for a couple of years. Like I said, the last time I came was with Georgia. <sighs> or it could have been with Daisy and Amber. It was because Georgia didn't come when I um, brought them up here. <sighs> didn't really take long to get here. It's not far from Bridgewater. <sighs> But of course, Maggie's getting old now. I was thinking about that. That um, it's always nice to do a circular walk, you see, rather than 
just go there and back. But it does mean climbing some hills. And that, yeah, that takes you up on the top. Look, if you go up there. Right, over and out for now.